Hey, welcome to my channel Zigmoto. Um, finally able to restart working on this bike. Uh, it's been crazy here with the fires and the smoke everywhere here in California. So um, let's just get to the point and let's get started. pretty simple um, and now it's trying to find the plugs so they're gonna be around here so I'm not gonna use the signal personally so I'm just gonna unplug them and um, uh, like I said I want to keep part of the electrical still going in order to start the bike uh, this is not gonna be an issue removing if you still want to uh, crank the bike and start it uh, afterwards so I'm just removing that for now as you can see, it's extremely still dirty, uh, and it got worse with the, with the fire. Uh, so you should have three wires, and uh, this is just simple as that. You just need to uh, remove that bolt that goes here, and uh, unplug the three wires, and you're good to go. If you are going to be reusing uh, the original wiring, uh, on the bike, make sure you take note of everything uh, that you're taking off. Um, so, but uh, I would just tape the three wires that I removed if possible and make sure that I put the right or left turn signal for the front or for the back so that basically you know where things are going uh, if you're putting it back on afterwards. The so same thing on the other side. So back here, you're gonna have also the wires for the other uh, signal. Um, so you just need to unplug those uh, three wires as well. All right, and you just slide it in there. There you go. All right, so there's two bolts under here. Yeah, those things are very rusty. I'm moving. Uh, so let's see what we have here. So I do have connectors. I have a connector in there, but I will need to open it to access it. So let's, uh, let's put it back ten for over here. And then we'll open that. Connection is right here. It's pretty tight, but it works. So there you go. So for you guys who want maybe to change the bolt or something, you just need to basically loosen this up, remove the two bolts that are on the sides, and uh, two screws on the side, and uh, then you have access to the bolt right here. Um, then you will need to remove the, 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 the cover here to access the bolt. Alright, so I'm going to get this piece here. Uh, you can see the difference in terms of uh, uh, 
durability of this piece. This can be completely changed. This is part of the frame, so if you uh, break something here, you're going to need to repair it. Or for, in our case, for this cover, uh, we'll cut it around here uh, in order to get rid of this uh, fender uh, and uh, put something a lot uh, closer to the wheel. Um, so it looks like this is 8mm. Um, I'm not, I will need to see, I believe there is another bolt here on each side and we should be able to remove uh, this part. So I'm going to try that and go from there. So this should just come out. There you go. So now I have access to the other here, so I'm going to remove that. Alright, let's uh, remove the speedo here. Uh, it's going to be connected to part of the wheel. I'm uh, trying to see if I can keep that cable. So, yeah, there's just this connection here. Just to unscrew it. So, this is the cable here for uh, the speedo. Um, so, I'm keeping it for now. Because um, I don't think I will reuse it, but just in case. So I'm just going to cover it, keep it uh, attached with a zip tie to the part of the top of the fork so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so let's get this uh, speedo removed. Um, so it looks like there's a bolt in between holding the speedo, so we're going to remove that. trying to remove this part because uh, it's attached to plastic. It's part of metal also here, but it's all interconnected, so I'm gonna remove this part and it should be okay. If you remove that shield, you're going to be able to uh, remove the plastic. It's a pretty big piece, so battery size. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, we've done quite a lot. Uh, there's still a lot more to do. Um, but uh, we'll uh, do that in the next video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe as well. See you next time.